Hello. Uh, a few people have said they want to see around the rapid response car uh, that I use at Swarwell. This one is rapid response 405. And I'll give you a very quick tour. So, obviously, driver's side with the steering wheel on the right side of the car, uh, as in right being correct, not the wrong side on the left. Uh, we have a small satellite navigation unit here, um, which actually gives us our details, which comes in and automatically plots us to the job at the same time. Um, it was a lot bigger, but they've made it smaller. It's a bit fiddly for my chubby fingers, but it does the job well. And then we've got our light cluster down here for all of our emergencies and stuff. Just a single operation, 999, and that'll start all the lights flashing all over the car. And then, once they go off, we've also got our airwaves radio down here, which is our base radio where we get all our jobs on. It's just the same as our portable ones that we carry, but it's just the base radio there. And that's it for the inside of the car, the rest is just normal stuff. So, we'll have a quick look in the back. Normal cars you can see with plenty, we've got, we can carry three in the back if need be. A couple of blankets and vomit bags and just where we store our equipment for now. Um, the main bit is a four our equipment storage area so we have life pack 12 monitor which is fantastic we have an oxygen cylinder a de-sized oxygen cylinder also uh, a wide selection of all the masks that we would need we've got a resource bag and mask in there this is our first response bag which carries our intubation kit uh, we've got our suction kit these are two or four drugs bags that we use all of the drugs that we administer um, uh, various bags so we can just grab one bag depending on what patient. Uh, and then just normal stuff, sharp spin, pulse oximeter, all the usual equipment and airway equipment that we'll need. We have cannula stuff in the side and dressings over there and we have fluids and given sets in the top. <coughs> Down under here we've got our back splints which are essential for the car. We obviously can fold away into a nice small package but we can splint up any limb in whatever position that they're in. We've got our Entnox, our nitrous oxide gas, which we use for analgesia. We have body bags, we have burns kit at the back. We have spare oxygen. We've got two spare D-sized oxygen and one spare Entnox. And then we have store cupboards, which is just nicely arranged into all the things. We tend to only carry enough to do one job and then back up one job, and then we just restock off the crews that come in. Maternity kit, airway kit, everything like that. like as well. Um, it really is everything that we have on the full ambulance bar the point that we don't have spinal boards, we don't have long boards, stretchers, carry chairs, such like. But it's there's there's never been a moment in time when I haven't felt able to cope with the situation with what I've got in the car. Um, and I, I love it. It's perfectly suited to purpose uh, and that's the rapid response car as quick as I possibly can so we can upload it. There you go. Thanks for asking anyway, hope that helps.